Today, my beautiful people, we look at another new addition to the game, a new legendary SMG, and this one made by Maliwan. It's called the Iron Laser, and today we discuss whether or not you should make space within your loadout for this new weapon. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and today I bring you another Borderlands 3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you want to see more. On screen now you can see my weekly giveaway along with last week's winner. To be with a chance of winning this yourself, follow the instructions on screen now and good luck. So the Iron Laser, it's a random drop from aboard the handsome jackpot. My first was sent to me by my pal, uh, who is Avro Arrow 99 but then I had one drop myself. Now upon first seeing this, before actually testing it, I thought we were going to see another variant to like the Cutsman, the Devoted, the Cloud Kill, the Kibbs Worth, etc, etc. But actually guys, this thing is nothing like those other Maliwan SMGs at all. If anything, it's actually more like the Sploder Assault Rifle, which has been around since day one, which is an absolute monster of a weapon, and I know it has quite a fan base. So firstly people, of this new SMG, I have two variants. They come offering two elements which you can switch between on the fly. This I really like as it helps free up space for other things. My best variant offers cryo and radiation with 245 damage, which is quite low, 76% accuracy, 59% handling, a reload speed of 2.7 seconds and a 3.31 fire rate with a magazine size of 37. Particles Unite, plus 28% weapon charge speed, plus 40% melee damage with a 1.7 times zoom. So having used this weapon for some time, I knew straight away what this actually is and the intentions behind this thing coming into the game. This is an alternative to the Sploder variants. If we compare them side by side, they stat-wise do kind of equal out. The Sploder has more damage, but the Iron Laser has a quicker fire rate and bigger magazine size. They shoot almost exactly the same. Now, if you are an avid user of the Sploder, you will notice that sometimes you fire an extra projectile along with your Ghostbusters beam of energy. That happens with the Iron Laser too, but it's much better over here. As the longer you hold down the trigger, upon letting it go, it fires projectiles which deal amazing damage. I have constantly managed to spawn 6 of these projectiles by just holding down that trigger for around half its clip size. And like I said, these do brutal damage. Now I said alternative to the Sploder, well actually people, the beauty of this thing, although I wouldn't say it's quite as capable of the Sploder, the beauty is these can be used within the same loadout as one's an SMG, the other's an assault rifle, meaning they won't steal ammo from one another. Plus the fact that Iron Laser can switch elements, these I feel don't have to face off against each other. They'll work better alongside each other, for sure. Now using the weapon it feels decent, depending on the modifiers though, it can deal some amazing damage or it can be utterly useless, much like most weapons in the game. It's an all round decent SMG, but I won't say it's one of the best in the game, as the variant I have could be better. I do have a feeling there may be a 2x variant out there too, which I think would make this weapon absolutely top tier. But all in all, it's a very decent and capable SMG. Much different from the other Maliwan SMGs this game offers, but I like it. I would give this thing a solid 6.5 out of 10 for sure. Is it a replacement to the Sploder? I'd say no. Does it work great alongside it? I'd say definitely. So yes guys, I have been DPJ and these are my initial thoughts and a quick review of the Iron Laser. A legendary new to the Moxie's heist of the handsome jackpot and it drops at random from any boss aboard the handsome jackpot. So get it people if you like the look of it. And on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.